mushrooms have been used for ceremonial purposes by the indigenous people for thousands of years. Today, they are used to help us open up and become one with our mind, body, and soul. Connecting, changing what we never thought we could before. This is my journey. Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel and to another video. So today, I feel like trying something a little bit crazy and adventurous that I have never done before. I'm thinking over the next 30 days, I am gonna try and microdose on magic mushrooms or psilocybin. But before we get started into today's video, you guys, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. This one is gonna be really cool. So let's get straight into the video. So about a couple months after living in this building, I was just walking down the road one day and I was looking for a marijuana dispensary. So looking around in the new neighborhood, I finally find one and it's called Zoomers. And I was like, sweet. So I go on inside and it turns out it was a mushroom dispensary. Sure enough, about a couple months after that, another dispensary opens up. I go up to the wall, I check out the front of the building, and it mentions all of the benefits that it has from doing mushrooms. So of course, I had to walk into the store. I first noticed how bright it was. Their display cases are super cool, very mossy and leafy. They have all of their mushroom chocolates. They even had these really cool like kombucha mushroom drinks. But then I was led to the microdosing, all of the different varieties targeted to help different things out. And then I saw the golden teacher. It spoke to me. This is the one. Okay, you guys, so I just got home um, from Saibin and we got our mushrooms right here. And I am super excited to open this up and take a look at what they look like. So we got the Earthy Blend Natural Mental Wellness. The focus and energy improves cognition and energy. So it comes in 25 capsules and you are supposed to take one of these every three days. So I got the lowest milligram. This is the golden teacher, 25 milligrams. So also a little backstory. I am not really huge into like mushrooms. I'm just kind of like an average guy that has heard about microdosing and the positive effects it can have on the body and the mind and the soul and the mental awareness. I heard from some friends back in the day about the benefits. The last time I had consumed magic mushrooms was when I was like 16 just with some buddies and that's it. So this test is gonna be from an average guy that just wants to try this out and let's see what the results are after 30 days. Gonna take one of these every three days. So essentially I'm gonna be consuming 10 of the capsules. Let's open this up and check it out. Okay, so interesting. So these are what they look like. Well, let's take one of these. This is gonna be pill number one. Okay, you guys, I will check in with you guys in a little bit uh, with how I'm feeling for day number one. Hey, you guys. Um, so it is now three days later and it's time for my next microdose. Got it right here. I didn't report back after my first microdose because I didn't really feel too much and I was super, super busy all weekend. So now it's Tuesday and it's time for my second. So I'm gonna take it today and I do work today as well. So I'm gonna check in with you guys later on and let you know how I feel for sure. Maybe, do, maybe it will be a little bit different with a work day as opposed to like a day off, not too sure, but we're gonna find out. Second dose right here. Bottoms up. It's really nice outside. Gorgeous day in the city. And I'm gonna go for a walk and get some errands done. What's up you guys? It's been about five hours since I took my microdose this morning. I do feel 
you know, a little bit of a difference with being more like floaty, I would say. I feel like I have this kind of like aura. Hopefully I'm in a little more better spirits than I am on my usual Tuesday night. So I'm hoping that maybe my mood will be a little bit uplifted and I'll be in a little bit more of a positive mood. I will check in with you guys again later. Yo guys, um, just doing another little check-in here. I finished work about an hour ago. It was a decent shift, but I do have to say that I did feel a big difference throughout my shift compared to most Tuesdays when I'm like mopey and just feeling kind of lame and slow because of how slow it usually is, like customer-wise. When it's usually like that, I just get in such a funk and I'm bored and you know, I just don't want to be there. So after doing the microdosing, I did feel a little bit of a difference in kind of like my attitude wise, where I was really just at ease in my mind and calm. Everything was still working fine, like my alertness, my speed, my spatial awareness, like everything was totally fine. Nothing was off. You know, I felt calm and really good. I will catch you guys in a couple days when I do my third microdose. Hello you guys, good morning. Hope you guys are having a good morning just like I am. It's actually time for microdose number three. So I am about to take that right now. So yeah, you guys, we are about a week into doing the microdosing. A few of the differences I have seen so far are really my overall zenness. I think I mentioned this before, but that is so far like the number one thing I have seen. My mind and body is really like very calm. It usually is anyways, but I find especially at work, working with the same people every day, I kind of get bored of the conversations and being around them. I'm the kind of guy that likes to like switch things up. I like to work with different people. I like things to be new and exciting. So, at this job working with the same people every day, having the same kind of conversations, same personalities, serving a lot of the same guests. It has gotten really boring, but now that I'm doing the microdosing, it's really helped me just relax and kind of like embrace it. It's been good so far. We're only one week in and we have three weeks to go. I will report back in with you guys really soon. Yo, you guys, just doing a little check-in. Uh, work is so, so, so busy, but I feel really good, really alert, really alive. Like, everything is going so good. I feel really good. Do I? I think I'm high. There's no way. But I think I'm high. I don't know. No, I'm just fucking with you guys. I feel really good, and I am so excited that tonight is busy. We're going to kill it tonight. And overall, feeling amazing. Catch you guys again soon. Yo, what up you guys? I'm just chilling out at home. Just randomly got the scarf on. It was like laying on the floor, so I just put it on. <laughs> but it is now Monday. It has been three days since my last microdose. I am about to do some more. I'm actually taking this dose in the evening. I thought I would just kind of switch it up and take it later in the night. It's like seven o'clock right now. It's just like a rainy evening. So I thought I would just take it later on in the day and kind of see how that one goes. But one thing that I have also noticed that I'm very sure is linked to the microdose is my marijuana intake has gone kind of like way up. I've been smoking a lot more. And it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just like, I've been craving more weed. I don't know, maybe like the microdosing of the mushroom is making me want to smoke more cannabis, which is cool. And I'm just gonna hang out, enjoy the rest of the night. So I will catch up with you guys soon.
Good morning, you guys. It is about 20 after 10 in the morning. It has been a couple days since I talked to you guys last, and now it is time for microdose number five. We are halfway through this experiment, so I'm gonna take the microdose and we are gonna chat a little bit. You know, I've never really been one for taking large pills like that. They go down quite easy. And I think just knowing like it's psilocybin makes it much easier than if it was like this horse pill pharmaceutical. I've never been into taking like even Advil or Tylenol. If I ever have like a little bit of pain or aches, I've just been one to deal with it. The whole pharmaceutical industry is very toxic, you know, somewhat evil. They always resort to giving people pills over something that they could take naturally or exercise or fresh air, you know? There's so many things that you can do besides just pumping more chemicals in your body to fix the issues going on. A lot of doctors will just prescribe you another medication or this or that, but what are things we can do to overall improve our health long-term? It's all about being healthy. But anyways, you guys, aside from that, two weeks into microdosing and it's been going very, very well. I'm able to have good conversations with my coworkers and just enjoy myself. The number one thing that I've been wanting to change has been coming true because of the microdosing. So I've been able just to relax, let time go by, enjoy myself, embrace work because you know, I'm gonna be working so much that you might as well try and enjoy it if you are gonna be there for, you know, 30 plus hours a week. Overall, my body has just been feeling really, really good. That is the most important thing. But I am about to start my day, take the dog for a walk in the rain, and go get a coffee. So I will report with you guys again very shortly and let you guys know how I feel. Hey guys, um, so I am just doing another little check-in. It's been about, I don't know, six hours since I have taken my microdose. I've smoked weed twice already, and apparently now I'm gonna go smoke it again. This is probably like the fourth time I have mentioned how much more I am smoking weed. So yeah, just gonna go smoke some more. <laughs> okay, you guys, one more update. So I convinced my fiance, Aaron, to take a microdose. It didn't take much convincing, but yeah. It's true. So <laughs> <laughs> he was like, okay, pop it down. Boom, okay, well, we'll see how he feels in a little bit. Yeah, right? <laughs> we'll yeah. see if the purple <laughs> elephants come out. <laughs> okay, you guys, see you later. You guys. The day has finally come where I am about to take my 10th and final microdose. It has been a fantastic month. The journey has been so great. I did not film taking my seventh, eighth, and ninth microdose because it was kind of a lot of the same and I didn't wanna bore you guys with so much talking of the same kinds of things. But I'm gonna take the microdose right now and then we are gonna do our final chat and talk about how this journey has been. Microdose number 10. <sighs> Went down just as easy as the first one. Those are really easy to take, by the way. I think I've mentioned before that they're a lot easier than taking like a big pharmaceutical pill. Those are chill, really, really, really easy. Well, you guys, the journey was Fantastic. Overall, the things that I really wanted to change actually happened. My whole mind, body, and soul has just been so relaxed at work. And that's kind of the area that I wanted to be the most relaxed in. So the number one reason why I wanted to take the microdosing has come true. <laughs> I'm saying it like it's a wish. No, it actually worked is what I should say. Taking the psilocybin was fantastic. I'm excited to keep doing this in the future. I think I'm going to continue the microdosing 
and I'm gonna see what the effects are like after doing it for another two, three, four, five months, and we'll see what happens. I am extremely happy with the microdosing of the psilocybin. I would highly recommend it, whether it be stress, anxiety, if you wanna boost your energy, if you wanna be more focused on things, the psilocybin will truly help with all of that. And it helped myself with that as well. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching another video. Thank you for coming along with me on this entire month long journey. And I hope you guys come on back very soon for many more videos. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video. I love you guys very much. And I will see you guys again very soon. Bye guys.